going on everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to break down iso to god what it is why it exists and how it actually works on rgh3 and jtox h360 consoles this is part of my rgh3 101 series so whether you're brand new to the modern scene or you've been modern for years um, this video will help you to understand how does this application work under the hood so ISO to God is a Windows application and what it does it converts Xbox 360 ISO file into God mode which is known as game on demand. It's designed specifically for RGH and JTA console and it allows this based game to run digitally from your internal disk. So as we know the Xbox 360 console was built to run games either from physical disk or as digital download. What ISO to God does is bridge that gap by converting this game into digital installation. And this will allow you to run it on your internal drive rather than needing a disk. And so you may ask yourself what's a God game, which is part of the actual application name. Well it stands for game on demand. And these games installed directly to your hard drive and are loaded by the native Xbox 360 kernel, which allows them to play um, from your internal drive without needing a disk. So this application works by reading the ISO file, extracting metadata, it repackages the file into a God container, and it outputs it into a format where the console actually understands so going deeper into that process so what it does it scans the iso file and it extracts the xex the game the title id the media id and the region information for that game then after that the next step it does is split the game data into Optimized chunk instead of a thousand loose file. That's so it actually packages the, um, the files from the extracted ISO that it does. And by doing so, it allows a modded console, which is your RJ or your JTAG console, to bypass these checks and allow the game to actually launch on it. So we see where the retail console would not be able to actually do this because it, it just won't work. It, it won't actually allow the game to be launched or anything, but having a modded console, it basically bypass all the signature checks. So when you convert a game, um, the output file will be not one file, but you'll get a folder with the title ID of the game that you're converting and then the title the, the the name of the folder would normally be in x value so on your internal drive you put it in the content folder so you go into content then another folder with 16 zeros and then that's where you'll put your game which will be listed by title id but within that folder, your game is actually stored in another folder that has four zeros, then seven, then three zeros. And that's where your game is basically stored. DLC and other add-on add for, for that game will have a different folder structure following the same naming convention, similar to the four zero, the one seven, and the three zero, which we will cover that in future videos. So even though there are other methods of getting your games to play on your hard drive, so if there is the ISO to God method and there's the another ISO extraction method that uses other application to extract that. Um, where ISO to God is better, it actually allow your games to load faster and with fewer files and it does better um, file structure and integrity and it works good with, with dashboard, whatever dashboard you're using. And we can see why mothers love using ISO to God because it's clean, fast, and it's stable. And 
the process of converting is easy. Now, regardless of how this software is, not every application is perfect. There are limitations. And one of the limitations is when it comes on to multiple disks. See where ISO to God doesn't handle this quite well. So normally when you're installing a multi um multi disc game, whether it is um the Call of Duty franchise or Grand Theft Auto Five, we see where there's always an installation disc and there's a play disc. So I've covered this in previous videos where you have to use this tool, which is the play disc through ISO to God. But then you have to extract the installer disk and go into that content folder and copy whatever is in that folder into the converted folder that is done through ISO to God. And that's so you'll actually get it to work. So we see where it doesn't handle multi disk games and it patches very well. Those you still have to do work around and do it manually, but in a nutshell, it still works better than fully extracting um, both games and get it set up on your internal disk to play. And so we come to the, the features and the advantage and disadvantage of the extraction process and using ISO to God. We see where the load speed for the game is much faster because it optimizes the file. The dashboard integration works really well, which when you press like detail on a game in Aurora, you see where you can view different details. You can you can run cheats. You can apply title updates. Like those works better within your dashboard. Um, you don't need disk emulation for for this process. So if you use ISO to God, we see where because of how it actually packaged the file, it will run as an installation disk on the console itself. So there's no emulation need. When you use um, the extraction um, process, you see where sometimes you will need emulator to run certain games. It doesn't work perfectly. File count, it uses, it basically produce less files compared to when you just extract the ISO file. You have tons of file. And ISO to God is very stable compared to doing the extraction process through other application. So my final recommendation will be to, you know, use ISO to God for sing single disk. For multi-disk game, you can do a combination of using ISO to God for the play disk and you can extract the first disk title and you just copy across onto the the ISO to God output game. And this will get your game up and running as I have shown in previous videos. And this will conclude another video covering RGH3 101 tips. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching.